The Fantasy Edge with Richard Seville and Dennis Sosick. Hello and welcome to the Fantasy Edge. I am your host, Richard Seville, FantasySixPack.net, and I'm sorry to say that Dennis is not here tonight. I tried to get a uh, fill-in co-host, uh, still looking to see if I can uh, get one trained up for uh, for Dennis. Dennis had uh, a very important uh, issue happening at work, apparently. Don't know what it was, but uh, he wasn't able to make the show. And he loves the show, and uh, he certainly uh, is missed here. But we shall continue on without Dennis. We shall soldier on and give you all the waiver uh, uh, choices uh, for this week going into uh, week six. Week six, like uh, we're right in the season now. And uh, a little bit of news, naturally, some big injuries. Um, I think one of the things that I wanted to talk with Dennis about is uh, the Browns forcing Eckler to score. Uh, I think they could have done it by just, if they really wanted to not have Eckler score, I mean, they could have just, uh, you know, just knelt down. I mean, it would have been just just as easy for Justin Herbert to kneel down, but I don't know. For some reason, they gave the uh, ball to uh, Eckler, and the Browns dragged him in for the touchdown so they had to, so they could have a chance to uh, catch up or even take the lead, which was uh, quite a possibility. Smart play, play on their part. Um, other news, uh, Kadarius Tony is not going to be suspended. Yes, it's not a, it's not a Javon Wims, uh, situation here. They're going to just, uh, I don't know, I think a fine is probably in, uh, in order here. Where the punch was at, uh, DeMonte Kazee of the Cowboys. It happened late in the game. Um, so, but that was kind of the, the least of the news as far as the league is consi- concerned. Big news coming out, of course, is John Gruden. Um, a series of emails from starting from about 10 years ago, plus uh, a lot of other ones that are leaking out now, uh, forced him out of his job. So, no more. Uh, kind of puts the Raiders in a bit of turmoil. Uh, not sure how that's going to all work out for fantasy, but uh, certainly not good news if you're, if you're, if you kind of like everything level and and quiet but uh yeah things a bit noisy uh in las vegas right now we'll see how it works out as the week goes on uh the giants uh daniel jones concussion saquon barkley ankle which i think everyone saw that replay where saquon barkley got rolled on it, it, i tell you something that saquon barkley just i don't know it he just finds he doesn't even have to find uh, a way to get injured. Uh, injuries tend to <laughs> find him, and uh, that was a case in point on Sunday. Uh, Kenny Galladay uh, is banged up too. He's got a knee problem, apparently not too serious, so he should only miss a game, two or three games, apparently. So that's not too bad. And uh, what with uh, Kadarius Tony not getting suspension, um, he's a, definitely. Uh, a rookie to fire up, and uh, if you've got him on your fantasy team, if you've scooped him already, you've, you've made a great move. You've made a great move. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, uh, he left the game without a without a card. He's carried off by his teammates. Uh, he it's just gonna he's only gonna miss a miss miss time. He's I guess we can consider him week to week now. But uh, Daryl Williams is the pickup. Jarek McKinnon. Uh, will will follow on. Don't know if the Chiefs will uh, um, sign somebody just for uh, extra depth. It's very possible. Um, Marlon Mack is looking for a trade, but I think Marlon Mack is definitely would be better served on the Dolphins. However, um, Miles Gaskin. I uh, in my uh, rest of season notes that I do, I called him uh, chairman of the duds in Miami, and well. Uh, what happens? Comes out and has a big game. So, I don't know. Go figure that one. Uh, but that happens a lot in fantasy is that uh, when we call a player out and say that they're doing terrible, or in our case, like in our, well, our segment uh, with, uh, the, with the the panic, the panic button, the panic segment, which, uh, which will come up uh, a little later. I'll go through them. But, uh, yeah, not 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 too good, not too good there, not too good. Uh, but Daryl Williams definitely the pickup of the week. In as far as running backs go, but uh, Kadarius Tony still number one. I don't think I'm not sure about his uh, percentage owned, but it's uh, I will get that number for you as the podcast goes along. Um, 
So that's it about the news. Oh, one more thing is, too, uh, David Mills, he went from negative fantasy points in week four to QB five in week five. He's the fifth best quarterback in week five, probably six, because I haven't counted in uh, what, uh, yeah, he's probably six, because I haven't counted in what uh, Lamar Jackson and what he did on Monday night. I'm sure he's uh, inside the top five, so still, um, Davis Mills, um, top ten. How did how did Houston do it? Well, not a very good football team, but somehow... Um, they were competitive in this one after uh, putting up a goose egg in four, but uh, mm, Davis Mills improved uh, one week. A little better coached up. Um, unlike Trey Lance, who I think kind of went in a little bit. Uh, he didn't look as ready to come in as he was when Garoppolo went out the previous week. So I'm not sure about his preparation for uh, week five. Still, um, he's a good pickup. Um, it probably Things will probably work out better for him. So we'll see how that uh, goes as the weeks unfold. So, um, just taking a look at now uh, my moving on up this week is, of course, Dawson Knox. Dawson Knox is moving way up. Um, if he's still available on your waiver wire, which I doubt would probably, I very much doubt that he's out there, but he's certainly, uh, um, he's certainly well, well worth picking up. Um, so uh, he's my uh, moving on up guy. Uh, panic button for me is uh, Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham, not, uh, not working out. If you own, Odell Beckham is actually very close to being droppable right now. He's not producing. Um, I will say this. I'm just going to get uh, my rest of season rankings up, and I'll just to tell you what he's what he's been doing lately. And since, I mean, he's had some injury issues. We know that, but just the same. Uh, Odell Beckham is not, 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 not showing up for your fantasy team. Um, I've got him as uh, WR68. And he's had finishes of 32, 76, and 87. Like, this is just unacceptable. Uh, I would say Odell Beckham, if you need to, if you want to, you can drop him, clearly. I mean, when somebody like Donovan Peoples-Jones out targets him, eh, kind of tells you that something's wrong between him and uh, Baker Mayfield. So I'm not too, uh, not too thrilled about him. Uh, in fact, Donovan Peoples-Jones um, was got 70 yards, 7 fantasy points. Uh, I mean, in half PPR, he's uh, 10 fantasy points with a uh, wide receiver finish of 35. Um, you, can, you can, if you want to, if you have room, or if you're in a deep league, uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones, definitely worth a, a stash and a stash and see see if this continues with six targets those are supposed to be those because donovan peoples and obj basically play the um play the same type of wide receiver role in fact uh peoples jones is kind of the understudy so to speak of uh obj but obj is not getting that high it's, got, it's definitely going to be some noise this week from obj uh, he can't be happy in the in the Browns' offense and on a good team right now because so he's getting kind of getting uh, veteran treatment like you know like the old veteran on the team. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with OBJ. He's definitely not startable. You can't start him and. Uh, and it's getting to be that he's just he's just taking up space on your roster on on your bed, on your bench. So you might be want to uh, move on from him. Looking at the waiver wire, here's some of the running backs that are at the top. Of course, you should uh, Daryl Williams, of course I mentioned because of Clyde edwards helaire and Devontae Booker because of Saquon Barkley is uh, the RB two. And uh, next is Khalil. Uh, this is from the Fantasy Pros Waiver Wire, um, Fantasy Pros Waiver Wire ranking. Um, I don't actually participate. I could if I wanted to, but uh, I do so much other rankings. I don't do do all this stuff of it, but it. Uh, but they're definitely uh, guys to pick up. Um, Samaje Perrin. Uh, now I think he has an injury issue. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, we'll have to find out what the deal is with uh, his with with that uh, because there's definitely some problems problem with uh, uh with uh mixing that is sort of ongoing but uh but i'm not sure about even samaji perrine himself i think he has an injury issue going on uh, next where are we going here uh damian harris uh damian harris uh he's he's got the okay so uh so need no need to rush out to get uh the uh, Brandon Bolden or anything like that. Uh, so uh, looks like he's going to be all right in the game. 
Next up, where are we going here? Where are we going? Uh, ah, yes, we are going to uh, look at... Uh, uh, I want to mention Jarek McKinnon. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sure he's going to be involved, but um, it's kind of a case of, if anything happens to Daryl Williams, Jarek McKinnon is next up. And I'm just going to quickly check uh, who the who the next back is. I mean, they're going to have to... Either they get somebody or the, or the next running back. I'm not too sure on the depth chart here, but uh, we shall see. Just let me check. It's uh, Elijah McGuire. Uh, the name, if the name sounds familiar, he's been around in the league for a while, so um, so he's probably the next uh, guy back. So, but, but I wouldn't be surprised if the if the Chiefs just sign an extra guy. Um, so you can check that out. Uh, wide receivers on the waiver wire, of course, Kadarius Tony, uh, Rondale Moore of the uh, Arizona Cardinals. Uh, he had a good day last last week. Hunter Renfro, uh, also. Uh, a choice. Um, this is going to take a look at Renfro's. Uh, Hunter Renfro's 49% owned, so I don't know why the experts are putting him on. And then they've got Rashad Bateman of Baltimore, who didn't do anything uh, this this week. I mean, on Monday night. So I don't know. They got uh, the the experts have him at well, probably way behind. Emma Ross St. Brown of Detroit uh, with uh, Quintus Cephas out. He'll be uh, a pickup that you may want to get. Only 3%, 0.7%. Kind of a deep uh, sleeper. Uh, Nicole Hardman, 42.7% owned. Yeah, he's a possibility. Uh, always uh, Kansas City. The, the, there's a real problem with Kansas City right now, though. Um, the offense is doing well, but the defense just cannot stop anybody. And it's making a, a, a big difference in the in the fantasy sphere with um, the problems in Kansas City because you don't know what's going to happen uh, for for what they're going to do to adjust because there's going to have to be some adjustments going on and whether that affects the offense. I mean, it's of course it's naturally it's on the defense, but um, the offense definitely has to keep um, uh, has to keep the ball more away from from the offenses because the defenses aren't doing it. So this might be Daryl Williams might be even a better pickup than you think because uh, the Chiefs definitely need ball need to get a ball control offense until they get their defensive problems sorted out. Uh, Jameson Crowder of the Jets is number seven on the on the list. Uh, Marquez Callaway and both of both of those players are in the thirty percent range. Um, Tua Hilton on IR. They got a WRN and Van Jefferson. <laughs> I can't believe Josh Gordon is on this list, but please, I mean, if you believe in good luck charms, then uh, take Josh Gordon. I mean, I know he's been taken in he's been taken in our league, our F six P league, <laughs> and but I just consider him a good luck charm. No need to get him. Uh, looking at some of the tight ends, the top tight end is uh, Hunter Henry, uh, who, uh, of course, on the uh, Patriots, you're going to get uh, good production with uh, tight ends, generally speaking, especially with uh, um, uh, Mac Jones trying to, uh, you know, settle in. And tight ends are good for young quarterbacks to to help them settle into uh, settle into their rhythms and. Uh, and uh, they're easy check downs too. So generally medium range. So Hunter Henry, uh, a great pickup. His uh, he uh, got eight tar- six six receptions on eight targets, seventy five yards, and a scored. So that was against Houston. Of course, again, again that is Houston at Houston. Next up is Dallas. So uh, Hunter Henry, definitely a, a guy that's going to be at the top of the uh, to, to uh, the waiver wire this week. Uh uh, Dan Arnold, I'm not so keen on Dan Arnold, you know, uh, I know that he's, I know he's getting a lot of attention and, but I don't know why, but uh, to me, Dan Arnold is not, uh, I mean, he's really not a, 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 I don't know, he's not a, it doesn't, it, put it this way, he doesn't excite me, this player. Uh, Dan Arnold. I know. I know that he's getting getting the attention, but uh, I have Dan Arnold as tight end twenty five in the rest of season rankings. And I know he got eight targets, uh, but Jacksonville is just not a great offense for Dan Arnold. Now again, now I just finished saying that tight ends are good for uh, young quarterbacks like Trevor Lawrence. So there is that, and I get that, and I'm not. I'm I'm not uh, contradicting myself, but. It's still, uh, I'm just not too excited with Dan Arnold as, as, as I would be with, uh, other tight ends, but uh, he's definitely rosterable. Um, but I would say more of a stash, 
uh, for a guy to have for, you know, by week, Phil, really. That's about the best I could say for him, so... And by the way, week six, uh, four teams on the bye, of course. As with every London game, you can always... Whichever teams are playing in London, you always know that the next week they're off. So the Jets and Falcons are off, of course. And uh, San Francisco uh, 49ers and the New Orleans Saints are off as well. So, so you know that the and London game is uh, Miami and Jacksonville. So you'll know that the Dolphins in for week seven... The Dolphins and the Jaguars will be off that week because any teams that play in London are always off the next week. Um, what else we got going here? Uh, drop. Yeah, I've already mentioned Odell Beckham, but I guess I should mention another guy that's a droppable uh, commodity. And I uh, and I'm gonna say that uh, I think you can safely drop. I mean, as far as uh, like as a, a player that you don't think you would drop, but is very droppable, is uh, is I think you can drop uh, Brian Edwards if you have uh, Brian Edwards. I just don't think it's happening. And with the turmoil turmoil going on with the Raiders, and he's really not done anything lately. I think Brian Edwards, if you have him rostered, I think you can drop him. So he'll be my drop of the week for this week. Um, yeah, I know I'm just running through, but Dennis isn't here, and so. Unfortunately, I'm just having to do this really quick this week, so it's not a, it's not a it's not the greatest podcast without Dennis. I know it's only just me, but yeah, got to do the best I can. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't I didn't talk about quarterbacks. Um, there's really nobody. I, you know, like people are all excited about Geno Smith. Don't get excited about Geno Smith. Geno Smith, you know, he's not. I mean, he used to play for the Jets. He's he's a long time. I mean, I even was surprised that he's still in the league. When I found, when I saw him on the uh, depth chart, I thought, well, hope Russell Wilson doesn't get injured. But, you know, but we need John, Geno Smith to, uh, he's not, he's not as, I don't think, I think it harms the value actually of, uh, I know that, uh, DK Metcalf scored a touchdown, but, you know, I don't, I don't expect much from Geno Smith, really. I might, but I, I don't rush out and get no need for that. Um, finally, uh, this, this quickie podcast today, uh, I'm going to go with, uh, a spec ad. Oh, I need a spec ad. Gee, who can I get for a spec ad? Not sure. Uh, I think I'll go with, if I was looking for a spec ad, I think I will try, um, Khalif Raymond of the, of the Lions, since Quintus Cephas is out, and Khalif Raymond has really stepped up when, uh, you know, uh, with the injuries to uh, Terrell Williams, and I, I think I think so. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Khalif Raymond is a is a good spec ad for you. So uh, yeah, take him up, pick him up if uh, if you need. But anyway, sorry, this is an abbreviated version of the Fantasy Edge this week. Sorry, it couldn't be longer. Dennis was out. Uh, I had to had to just sort of put this all together in, you know, in a matter of minutes. So I'm really sorry it wasn't uh, as good a podcast as you've been looking forward to. And I know you kind of, Dennis fans, sorry, just not here. So uh, take care and good luck in week six. And uh, we'll see you next week with Dennis on the Fantasy Edge. Take care, everyone, and uh, best of luck.